Hello, 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 guys. Wait for a couple of you guys to log on. See if anybody's going to join us to do it live. Get these dog treats out of the way. There's about three or four or five of them nearly standing on them. Hope you guys are doing good. Hope you guys are okay. Do this. There we go. Might get better. Natasha Graham's watching. You joining in as well, Natasha? Yeah? Stuff going on here. Cool, so I hope you guys are all right. I can only see that Natasha joined, but a couple of you guys are joined as well. I'm gonna wait another minute, just see if people get logged on, and then we'll get started. We'll get started uh, straight away when I see a few of you log on. Who's on here as well? Can't see, no, it's not popping up. Sharon, hi, hello Sharon, how are you doing? Have the kids been joining in the Zooms as well? I know you've um, they've recently started the Zooms and hope they found them all right. I know Kay's doing a few of them. And you know what, guys? Let's get started. Let's get going. Okay, so, as always, we'll start hands together. And bow. All right, so what I want you to do, I want you to choose three exercises. All right, three exercises. It can be any three that you want. Okay, so for me, I'm going to do... One sit up, one leg raise, and then Russian twist like that. So I'm just going to focus on abs for this bit. So you can do that if you want. Okay, so I'm going to do so three exercises. Say if you might do a press up, a star jump, and a squat. Whatever you want to do, just those three exercises in a row continuously. All right, so we're going to do that for three minutes. Have a quick break, and then do another little bit and get warmed up. All right. So those three exercises that I'm going to do again. One sit up, one leg raise, and then one Russian twist, tapping down on each side. All right, so you choose any exercises that you want to choose, guys, just to get nice and warm. All right, three, two, one, off you go. One sit up, one leg raise, and then one twist, tapping on each side. One sit up, and then one leg raise, and one twist. All right, so you choose those, whatever exercises that you wanted to choose, guys, your, your exercise, you're gonna do that one. And then the other, and then the last one, and just keep going continuously for these three minutes, all right? So there'll be one sit up, one leg raise, and then one twist. And again, that's it, keep going. That's it. You just keep going with your, your chosen exercise again. Keep it up. So if you've just joined, what you guys going to do, put three exercises, one after each other, one, then the other, then the other. Three of any exercise that you want, say, star jumps, press-ups, sit-ups, burpees, squats, lunges. Just do one, and then the other, and then the other. For continuously, one after each other. Non-stop. So keep it going. That's it, all the way through guys, all the way, keep it up. Three minutes of work, that's all we've got to do. Three minutes. And keep it up, keep going, keep going. Keep going, guys, keep going. Uh, 
that's it. Nearly there. And time. All right, shake it off. Shake it off, shake it off. Okay, what we're going to do is just get the body a little bit more warm as well. We're going to do one minute. And we're going to do it like this. We're going to do two star jumps, one jumping jack. So one, two, three. One, two, three. All right, one minute like that. Three, two, one. Off we go. Two star jumps, one jumping jack for one minute. Off we go. That's it, keep going. There we go, keep it up, halfway. There we go, 10 seconds left. And time, all right, time. Get yourself a quick drink if you need one. And I'll say, get yourself a little drink. So make sure you've got a little bit of space around you for this one. Okay, so we're going to work on um, we're going to work on a spinning spinning move. Right, we're going to work on how to control it as well, how to get better at it. All right, something to actively improve it rather than just spin and spin and spin and spin and hope we get better. This is what I'm going to teach you today. Is something that will actually improve the ability to spin and your control. All right, so we're going to start off the first one that we're going to do. And we're going to look at is the spinning hook kick, okay? So if you guys don't know the spinning hook kick, I'm sure you do, but if you don't, the basic of the move, step your foot across, like this. So we're just doing the spin hook kick by itself. We're gonna step our foot across onto the ball of our feet. We're gonna turn, look over our shoulder so I can see the camera, I can see behind me here. And then we're gonna lift up into chamber, whip the hook kick round, and back down, all right? So a little bit faster. We're gonna step, look, and whip the kick, like that. So again, step, look, and kick, all right? So what I want you to do is we're gonna practice five times off of each side, all right? So you're gonna do it five times with your right leg. So in your orthodox stance, with your left leg forward, right leg back, you're gonna do it five times, just the spin hook kick by itself. Once we've done that, we're gonna swap. Do it five times. With the south pole stance, right leg forward, left leg back, okay? And then we're gonna do some drills to help with that, all right? So, when I say one, we're gonna do one spin hook kick with the right leg. All right, let's go, one. And then back to stance. Two. Good. You can hit with the heel or the ball of the foot. Three. Make sure you look before you kick. Four. Nice. Five. Good. Swap stance. All right. So they might have one side better than the other. This side is my weaker side. You probably see it. But we'll try and we'll work it anyway. Okay. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Good, all right. So loosen them, help them legs off a little bit. What we're gonna do, we're gonna do, so about double shoulder width apart with your feet, hands on your hips. You're gonna bend one knee down, keep that leg straight, and then go to the other side, all right? We're gonna do 12. One, two, three. So you decide on like this. Four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Love it, all right, so shake them off. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna develop a little bit of control. So we're not gonna whip the kick this time, we're gonna go round in chamber. So over here, gang stands, again, step across on the ball of your foot, remember, don't put your heel down here. Step across, turn, look, bring the chamber up, and put it down, all right? Nice and slow, all right? You notice I'm not rushing to put it back down, I'm bringing it up. Nice and slow and controlled, okay? So we're gonna do that one. We're gonna do that one five times, off of each leg. Again, so garden stance, we're gonna step, just the kick by itself, but you're not kicking out, you're keeping it in chamber. So step, so one, step, good. Make sure you turn your head first, you need to look where you are first. Two, good, control is in the name of the game right now. Three, four, Good, keep that leg high, right? Don't let it drop down here. Keep that knee up nice and high when you do the chamber. And five. Nice, good. Swap over onto the other side immediately, straight away. Let's go. And one. Good, two. Three. Four, and five, good, lovely work, lovely work guys, alright, again, we're going to stretch them legs off, loosen them, so feet about double, or a bit further than shoulder width apart, okay, we're going to do six on each side, 12 overall, go one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Lovely. Shake them off. Shake them off. Get yourself a little drink if you need one. Get yourself a quick little drink. Okay, good. So a bit exercise, a bit of control there. All right. What we're going to do now, guys, work something called proprioception which is basically, simply put, your awareness of your surroundings and, and, your, and what you know is around you and how you are balanced in that area, all right? So we're gonna work proprioception, okay? One drill that we're gonna do now, if you do have a straight line in front of you, maybe you've got wood floors or something, it might be good for you to use that. But I'm gonna use my mats, I've got a straight line here. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get my eyes facing in front of me, so when I turn this way, my eyes are gonna be forwards, all right? I'm just going to squat down, not that a proper squat, just a little one, and then jump, turn 90 degrees, and then back, all right? Jump, turn 90 degrees, and then back, all right? In my mind, I want my feet to be exactly on that line, okay? I don't want to be off, off balance, I don't want to be off a weird angle, all right? I want to be exactly 90 degrees, exactly when I'm jumping and turning, okay? That's the first one we're going to do, all right? So we're going to do that one for 30 seconds. You're going to jump, turn to your left, back to the front. Jump, turn to your right, back to the front, okay? We're going to drill that for 30 seconds. This will make sense by the end. Hopefully, what I want by the end of this, guys, is your spin hook kicks to be a lot better. All right, that's the aim. Let me know if they are. 30 seconds, starting now. Off we go. Jump, turn left, back to the middle. Jump, turn right, back to the front. And focus on that 90 degrees. Go. That's it, keep going, go at your own pace now. Now back to the front. Jump to the left, back to the front. To the right, back to the front. To the left, back to the front. To the right, back to the front. To the left, back to the front. And time, lovely work, all right. So we're not going, it's not gonna to be too hard, we're not gonna go absolutely get mad sweaty today. So we're just gonna put a few exercises in the middle. What I want to do now is five deep squats. So squat down all the way as what to, you can go to. So as far as you can. One, two, three, as far as you can. 
four, five. Lovely. All right. We're going to do the same drill now, the same proprioception drill that we've just done, but we're going to take it up a notch. We're going to go 180 degrees. So we're going to go here, little squat, little squat, turn, 180 degrees, back around the same way. All right. Keep it focused. Then turn the other way, back to the start. All right. We'll do that for 30 seconds. Okay. So get ready. Three, two, one, and go. Again, keeping your feet exactly on that line. Hello, cat. You want to do some spins with me? I don't think he wants to spin, guys. I've been pretty good. Hey, you're doing good, Ninja. And time, well done. Extra well done if you had the cat as well. You can go, boy. Nicky, ninja's back, you want to feed him. And time there, guys, all right? So what we're gonna do is, again, then five deep squats. So go as low as you can, as low as you can. And go one, two, three, four, five. Go away. Get yourself a little sip of water if you need one, a quick drink. Now that was, that was a bit more difficult. We're going to take it up a notch again. All right, we're going to take it up a little bit further, a little bit higher, a little bit harder. What we're going to do is 270 degrees. Okay. Now, if you guys aren't getting this perfectly, that's cool. Don't worry about it. All right. It's meant to be a challenge. Okay. It's meant to be challenging. This will test you. That's why you're going to improve from it because it's going to be a test. So we're going to turn to our left, jump, face 270 degrees, and then back round, facing the front. Okay, jump to our right, turn 270 degrees, and to the front, back round. All right, it's going to be challenging, but stick with me, guys, and I promise that you'll feel the benefit. Okay, so we're going to do that one for 30 seconds. Three, two, one, and off we go. I jump, turn to your left, and spin, go away, to the right, and spin back round, go to the left now, jump, turn left, and spin, and to the right, and spin back, and time, alright, well done, well done, well done, this time I want you to do 10 jumping squats, Three. Two, one, off we go. Ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lovely work. Get yourself a drink if you need one, guys. I have brought one. So, oh, in fact, I have brought one. All right, get yourself a quick drink. Awesome. So that's, that's a bit of proprioception. Now, we're going to do that one, one more time. We're just going to go to the 90 degrees, like this, the one we did first. But we're going to do it with our eyes closed. All right, so we're going to shut our eyes and we're going to do it. All right, so we're using our intuition to see where we are. All right, we're using the proprioception and awareness of our surroundings. We're going to do that for 90 degrees. And then we're going to try that spinning kick again and see if anything's changed for you, okay? So, we're going to do this one for one minute, all right? One minute. Now, guys, if, if for example, you think you're going to fall over or you're moving around, open your eyes again, get back centered, and then do it again. And then start again with the drill, okay? Three, two, one. Alright, shut your eyes and jump to the left, go. And back to the front. Try not to peek. Jump to the right, back to the front. And keep going with that guys, keep going. So try and feel where you are, try and sense it. Now 
Ah, say so keep it up, keep it going. There we go, keep working, keep working. You got this. Keep it up. Nearly done now, nearly done. And time, well done, well done. Awesome. How do you find that? All right, is that tough? So it's pretty difficult, it's pretty challenging guys. So if you're staying on with that, very well done, very well done to you. So now what we're gonna do is put that all together. We're gonna use what we've just learned. So hopefully that's worked. You might not be able to feel it it's working, but hopefully it has worked. So we're gonna go again with the spin hook kick just by itself. So in your garden stance, then step the lead leg over and then spin round with the control. I want you to really control bringing that back leg down to the ground under perfect control, all right? Don't rush it, don't drop it, don't let it fall, okay? You place it down. You place it down exactly where you want it to go on the floor. All right, so we're gonna go spin hook kick, and one. Good. Two. Three. Four. Nice, five. Lovely work. Swap stance. Good to fight in both stances. Good to be able to train in both stances and be able to do both stances. It works both sides of your brain equally. And one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Nice work, okay. So again, get yourself a little drink if you want one. We're gonna put that into a combination now to make it speed it up a little bit, all right? Get yourself a quick drink. All right, okay, so we're gonna put a jab on the front, cross, and then a lead hook, okay? So jab, cross, lead hook. As you see, this lead hook takes me sideways. Right, I'm not going here and then step in. I step at the same time as I punch, all right? The hook, we're not, we're not aiming to, say if we're doing it on the bag or if we were hitting the pads, we wouldn't be smashing the hook, punching as hard as we can. We're not aiming to land that. That's more like to set up the, the uh, spinning hook kick, all right? To set that move up as opposed to wanting to land 100%. So that's why we step with it, okay? We're not trying to hit it as powerful as possible. So we go jab, cross, Hook, spin, hook, kick. All right, we're gonna do it slow, and we're gonna build it up, build it up, build it up, get faster. All right, we're gonna do, we're gonna do five. Okay, I usually say ten, but it starts getting really dizzy at about nine or eight, nine. So we're gonna do five. All right. So one, just at slow pace to start with. One, two, a little bit faster. Three, faster still. And four. Good, speed up a tiny little bit. Fastest one, five. Good, swap stance. Same, again, nice and slow. One. And two. Three. Four, speed it up, four. Scared I'm gonna hit that. And five, fast, last one. Nice work, okay, so we're gonna do them to stretch our hips out again. Nice, wide, wide stance. Down to one side, bending the knee, straightening the other leg. Okay, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
11 and 12. Lovely work, lovely work. All right, shake your legs off. Shaking your legs off. Get yourself another drink if you need a drink. Go get yourself a quick drink, please. Fantastic, fantastic. Okay, so across we've we've worked our our spinning a little bit and we've, we've tried to open up our legs a little bit. We're gonna just stretch off our legs ever so slightly and that'll that'll just help with the recovery as well. Please stretch off after this as well guys. Alright? So what I want to do is take your legs out nice and wide. Just like that, and then as wide as you can get them and still comfortably hold yourself up, I want you to squeeze your legs. Squeeze on the inside of your legs, you feel it here. Squeeze, 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 squeeze them together. Try and pull them together underneath you. Okay, 10, 9, 8, 7. Keep squeezing your whole leg muscles, recruit your whole leg muscles. 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one, and relax. Let them slide out a tiny bit further, just a little bit. And go again, squeeze again. That's it, pull, pull, pull. And 10, nine, eight, seven, six. Keep going, five, Four, three, two, one, and put your hands down. And I feel that ease off a little bit on your legs and try to go out as far as you can now, but keep your hands down. All right, keep your hands down. That's it, a little bit further. Five, four, three, two, one. And time. Alright, bring them up. Shake them off, shake them off. Okay, we're going to do one little drill to loosen up, the, one little uh, movement to loosen up the hips. Okay, so this is called 90 90 because your knees want to be 90 degrees. So if you look here, I've got 90 degrees here with this leg and then 90 degrees here with this leg. And my foot, my knee, and my ankle there, my ankle, knee, and ankle are all on the same line. I'm keeping my hands here. What I'm going to do is lift up. So I'm going to put my left leg down, and my right leg is bent here. I'm going to lift up my left leg first, and then they're just going to swap positions like that. So this is 90 and 90 still. I'm just going to swap, and then swap, just like that. All right. So keep going with that guys, and when you get comfortable, you can sit more upright, you don't need to lean back, but if you do want to lean back on your hands to comfort, to, to stabilise yourself, please do, alright? Okay, so we're just going to do that with the oil up the hips, keep them nice and loose. That's it, go a little bit faster now. Last 10 seconds, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and time, alright, time, shake it off, shake it off, so put your knees together, circle your knees, and then 8 times the other way, Eight, one, then eight, the other. And then your hips, circle them eight, one way, then eight, the other. And then do your wrists and your ankles. And then just shake yourself off. Nice and loose, nice and loose. So I hope you enjoyed that today. A um, little bit of something different to work on with the, the spinning moves as well, rather than just combos, combos, combos. 
Well done, well done making it through that one. And first, well done, good work. Good work, thank you, thank you. Oh, look, look at that. Never ending. And see you later, guys.